Mm-hmm. It's your boy Weasel. We're back, and I am near Fletcher's Frontier because I've been uh, working a little bit on creating or extending the path uh, we worked on last time. Um, and no, I don't know where my where my horse is. Uh, Horsey McHorse face is somewhere in the world, and I don't know where. What can you do? Anyways, so I've been working on this path uh, coming to Fletcher's Frontier um, off camera while listening to some good episodes on YouTube, just watching some good old videos. So now what I would like to do is uh, build some sort of gate or entrance towards it. And for obvious reasons, like the quote-unquote, um, let's call it... Uh, train station I guess you could call that train stop is not gonna really do the trick we're gonna need um, to add this entrance somewhere over here and I'm actually going to open this up a little bit like that and this is gonna be the main entrance I think once we set up the I guess rough idea how I'd like this to look um, I'm gonna give you a quick tour oops of uh, what else I've been up to on that note I always forget to turn the music back on. Not that there's going to be music playing a whole lot. So, by the way, thank you so much, everyone, for, like, the really nice comments, like, recently. It's been, you know, it's been much appreciated. Um, and, you know, a lot of people can relate to the stupid things that I uh, uh, talk about, so that makes me happy, knowing that, you know, I can at least uh, relate to other human beings like that. Okay, so how we're going to do this, I think I'd like like a big gate of sorts, you know what I mean? Like a um, big entrance, something not bombastic, I don't think that would fit with Fletcher's Frontier, Fletcher's Frontier, but uh, something along those lines. All right, then. I looked for the mod um, that allows you to only chop at the bottom to get the trees to fall down um, just before I started recording because somebody was like really interested in it and I couldn't find it and it's been driving me crazy. Um, and I see a lot of cool mods, and they're all for like Minecraft 1.14 or 1.15. And I guess it's the downside of playing the newest version. You don't get to play all of the mods. Um, talking about mods, I've been looking into immersive engineering. Not like looking into like really getting good at it or anything. It's just, hmm, part of me really likes the idea of um, ramping this up a little bit and um, having some things more or less automated. Um, I don't know if automated, but like uh, a huge tool to dig through a forest, something like that, like to make building paths easier. Sounds like a cool, cool thing that I would like to work towards too. So I'm going to have to look into immersive engineering, but that might be for another series. Okay, so this is cleared out. That's good. Um, I think if we want, I think I'm going to make this a little wider, four wide. Sounds good. Um... Yeah, that's 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 all right. Uh, I'm also going to dig this out because this is how we're gonna go in, and we're also going to dig this out because I think we will um, surround this. This is gonna be like the main plaza. That would be the right word. I'm gonna leave those flowers here. I just decided I'm gonna work on this. Um, I've been thinking about. Um, a bigger structure and I was thinking like maybe we could build something like a um, um, not a high-rise building but like a oh the sign oh I broke the sign gonna have to replace that very important that's not how you put a sign though it's a bed weasel um, something where we could put a lot of beds in and that would also be like livable quarters for our folks here I guess I can just put the sign out here um, Fletcher's Frontier. There you go. Wonderful. Well, well, we'll place it eventually somewhere else. But yeah, for now, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flatten this out. I'm trying to think what would be a nice um, stone to put in here. Um, we could just put cobblestone down, more cobblestone road. Um, and that wouldn't be a bad idea. But I feel if we were, we're creating like a nice entrance of sorts, it should be um, a little bit more... <sighs> it should be more impressive than that. Um, okay, we have some cobblestone wall. Oh, cobblestone wall, that reminds me I could just, you know, fix this up now that I have some cobblestone wall in my hand. Um, I should... You know what, if I want to do something with stone, I should just make some real quick. 
that shouldn't be a problem. Let me replace this just for uh, my sanity's sake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a little bit better. Uh, one is missing over here. I'm not forgetting you. And I'm going to extend this a little bit to straighten this out. There you go. Um, still looks a little bit awkward, but we'll, we'll, we'll work with this eventually too. Um, so, let this out. All right. So, let's go inside our little uh, house. House something. Yeah, look at all that dirt that I have and whatnot. I probably have... Yeah, look at all that stuff. Friggin' dirt I still have my inventory from working on the path. I need to figure out what I can do with dirt. Um, dirt, please. No, 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 what are you... What are you doing on the house? Go away, Jamie. No, go out. Oh, Johnny, sorry. Sorry, Johnny. Um, go, go out. All right, so where was I? Ah, yes, let's throw some more dirt over there. Is there anything I can do with dirt? I mean, there's coarse dirt, there's... Oh yeah, rocky dirt I got. Um, that might be actually fairly neat. Let's let's do something with this. Let's see. Um, that would be I can just do that in my inventory, right? Like over here under crafting. Don't have the recipe obviously yet because I've never done it. So, well, we still don't get the recipe. That's okay. We can we can remember that. I just have to manually lay it over then. Let's make a few. Let's make a, like a bunch and then we can play around with this. Um, Accordingly, I guess it's one way to uh, cut down on the size of our inventory. Okay, so very good. Let me have a sip of my coffee. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to talk about coffee. I don't know why. I just figured it would be interesting to talk about a coffee and fountain pens. Sometimes I like fountain pens. Okay, so let's before I do any, before I do that, let me put some rocky dirt down to see how that looks like. Well, it looks rocky, and I I think I have an idea. Like a, I don't know if the shovel would be better. Doesn't seem like either are a very good choice. But here's what I'll do. Um, I'm gonna use them underneath. Oh yeah, this is this works well. Um, feels like a, a, a little bit more of a gradient. If, if that makes any sense, what I'm just saying here. I just wish it was a little slightly different looking. Um, yeah, I don't know if I... I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like it. Let me know your thoughts about these blocks. Um, I'm also not naming uh, the animals yet because the episode where I'm asking for names hasn't aired yet. Um, yeah, this doesn't look... This doesn't look right, does it now? Now we got, now we got rocky dirt, and I don't... I don't even want it. Just leave me alone, Rocky Dirt. You're not, you're not welcome here. <laughs> I'm the only person that cares about dirt, like, to that extent. Also, God, it's annoying that, because I don't know, like, it seems to take the same amount of time to use a shovel and a pickaxe. And that seems just not correct. Like, something's not correctly set up with this. Anyways, where was I? Maybe this looks, maybe Rocky Dirt looks better in like bigger patches. That's also entirely possible. I'm willing to try that. I guess it could look fine in um, flower uh, uh, garden beds or something, because there's like stones. Anyways, so yeah, I'm enjoying a good old iced coffee and it's, um, I don't even know where I wanted to go with this now. I had this idea to, like, talk about my coffee journey, how I first got introduced to coffee. I first hated coffee. That's, I guess, a lot of, like, children, or, or, or just a lot of people in general, and that's, you know, don't like coffee. And that's not an unreasonable stance. You know, coffee is bitter and weird like that. It's... I don't think I know anyone who initially said, like, mmm, mmm, a bitter liquid, a bitter warm liquid, that's my favorite. I, I like that so much. No, um, that's rarely the case, and often when people then start to get into coffee, like, you know, you add some sugar, you add some milk, and it's the same thing that I did. I worked when I was 15 or 16, I want to say 15. 
14 slash 16, somewhere along those lines, um, at a company in Germany, like a little IT company. And um, I remember riding my bike there regularly. Um, let me, oh, I got some glass. Give me some cobble. Do I have some cobblestone here? Ah, uh, just slabs. Uh, I need some cobblestone to do the things that I want to do. Do I have some in Yes, I have plenty of them in my inventory on that note. So yeah, I used to work um, at that uh, little company. It was like a mandatory um, year where you had to like have a half part-time job. Praktikum is the word. I'm sure some Germans would know. I guess it's an internship, but... It's kind of like a, a mandatory internship that comes with, uh, that came with the school that I went to. I got a Fahabi tour. So um, in one of those years, uh, in the first year, I guess 11th grade, if that makes any sense to you, I had to get a job. Polished in the side stairs. Hmm. And yeah, um, one of the tasks there was... You know, hey, could you, like, make me a coffee? Which, by the way, is fine. Like, I, you know, just 15-year-old, like, you can't really... What is he going to do? Like, yeah, he's going to clean out the, 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 the storage. He's going to, like, do maybe a little bit with, like, some access or Excel, scan some documents, and sometimes, like, hey, could you make me coffee? Which is totally fine. Like, not objecting to that at all. That's not my intention. Um, so I made them with, like, a big... Um, Stone bricks. Give me some more. Yeah, I'm going to do some stone brick stairs. I think that's going to look nice. Um, So I made coffee with this, like, big Yura espresso machine. It's like a automated one, you know? Espresso, usually, you have to, like, you have to, like, grind it up, and then you have to put it in a little puck, and then compress it, and all kinds of things. That thing did that more or less automatically. Stone brick stairs, yes. That's, ooh, yeah. Yeah, that, that. That's nice. Yeah, I like the look of that. I'm, I'm a big stone brick fan. So I did that. Um, I made coffee for those people with the machine. And um, there was a foamer as well, you know, to make milk foam, like for a cappuccino. That's coffee with just some foam milk on top. And... Um, I just tried one of those, like, you know, like, based on one of the suggestions, where it's just, hmm, I'm just gonna try one of those myself, and I added some sugar and did the foamed milk, and it's like, huh, that's actually pretty tasty, and I added even some, like, chocolate powder on top. Um, yeah, give me more of those stones. And it was, it was very good, like, I, I enjoyed the taste of it, um, but I should mention, yeah, I added a bunch of sugar, uh, cocoa powder and the likes. I don't know if bricks is the right thing. I feel cobblestone is a good alternative for the path, but eh, we're gonna make a nice looking, nice looking entrance. The sign has to move it too because we're going to build the gate um, starting on these spots. And we're just gonna use stone, I think. Stone is the most reasonable one. Um, I could also use an endocyte, uh, smoothed out endocyte blocks. For that, but I feel brick is just thematically the more fitting one. Oh, that's gonna take forever. Anyways, so yeah, um, that's how I started drinking coffee. Is didn't really have anything. <laughs> I didn't really have anything else to do there for a lot of time, and I just like browsed the internet and started drinking more coffee because yeah, it wakes you up and, and it tastes good, and it's you look busy when you're making a coffee. It's like, oh, is he making coffee for one of the people working there? Like, oh. So, yeah. And uh, I became the person that made coffee for everyone because I started kind of, I guess, getting uh, fast at it. Not that it takes very long to make a um, coffee with, like, one of these machines. But, you know, people had their preferences. They wanted certain kinds of coffee, so I just made those. Yeah, stone. Okay, we're gonna have to like wait until we can do this. Let's work around the um, fountain. I think I'm going to do some replacing here for that particular reason. Just all of these slabs. Can I make endocyte slabs to save a little bit on that stuff? I should also make like a stone cutting table for that particular reason. Um, that's gonna look nice. Yeah, 
Um, and as time went on, like, I, I drank them mostly with sugar in it and a lot of milk. And did that for a long time. Um, and eventually, you know, you kind of become dependent on coffee. You just want coffee. And then it's like, ah, it doesn't have sugar. Ah, that's fine. Just add some milk. That's fine. And you start to, like, you know, make these um, adjustments where it's like, I guess I don't need that much. Okay, table saw. Oh, right. Uh, saw. What do I need for those? Uh, what's it called? No, it's a um, cutter. Whoops. That's weird. Cutter. Oh, yeah, I also got, like, a dark mod for the interface. I'm glad to see that it works. Uh, stone cutter, iron ingot, and stone. Okay. Do I have an iron ingot with me? I sure as heck hope so. You're telling me that I went out without a single iron ingot. <sighs> well, that's so typical of me. It's all at, at, at home base. All at home base, where I should go back to and grab some stuff before we keep working on this. Um, I mean, I can make slabs with the um, endosite regardless, but it would be a little bit more effective. I think stairs are more effective. Slabs are still the same, I want to say. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Eventually, I now I'm just willing to try, or I started being willing to try more things um, with, just make a bunch of slaps, there you go, um, with coffee, where it's like, oh, I never had that, or I never left this out or changed that, but having had a lot of good experiences with, oh, wait, this isn't right, that would be three white, that's not symmetrical, can't have that, um, I'm willing to try more things, and I think that is part of it. A lot of people that start drinking coffee just kind of ease their way into it, you know. Just a lot of creamer. I mean, if you add enough creamer, or like, if you get a frappuccino at Starbucks, that's mostly sweet, that's mostly caramel, that's not super coffee-y. I guess I would have a hard time, um... Uh, Knowing that because I've been drinking coffee for so long, so for all I know, like, if it doesn't taste like a lot of coffee to me, it tastes like a lot of coffee to someone else. Lorne, for example, um, when she tried that, like, nah. Nah, she doesn't like it at all. So I guess it must be more of a thing um, with me then. Um, anyways, a lot, 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 lot of talk. A lot of talk. Sue, as I was saying... Um, I still would like to put stone bricks to the path. We could also use andesite slabs. They also look fairly decent. We have diorite, polished diorite. That looks cool. I think I'm going to go back. I'm going to sort this. Uh, I think I'm going to go back home to home base and uh, grab some things. One of them being carrots so I can friggin' tame a horse again when I come across it. I have a saddle and whatnot, and I need another horse, but, you know, I don't have it. Um, so, let's head back home. And... Um, yeah. I'm actually going to keep the ride, because somebody <laughs> said they really like watching the rides, and just cutting those out would be kind of like a bummer, which gives me, I guess, a chance to talk about... Uh, coffee further. Right now I'm totally into cold brew. Um, or not even cold brew, just coffee with ice cubes. Or just chill down and then some ice cubes. Um, to deal with the heat. It's great. I know warm, hot liquids actually are better to cool you down. As counterintuitive as that might seem. I think because they encourage sweating, which then... Oh. Oh. Oops. Um... Oops. Um, because they uh, encourage sweating, but whatever the case might be, I currently enjoy cold brew a lot. And I've been getting into uh, hand pouring coffee. I got like an old coffee grinding mill, is that the right word? Just like a coffee grinder, you know, one of those. If you've never seen them, they're like a fairly usually like a rectangular block, a little bit decorative, um, a wooden block with a little drawer in it, about, I don't know, six to seven 
seven by seven inches, seven by seven by seven, a cube seven inches wide. Um, and with a handle on top and then you crank it and some people will probably st feel pretty stupid for having to listen to me describe something, you know, simple as that. But not everyone knows coffee grinder, so just look up coffee grinder, like old school coffee grinder. I know there's some more modern looking ones, but I got one that was actually from Germany. It has a little plaque on it that says oh, it's cafe and it's like an old vintage one and I um, uh, took it apart, cleaned it, sanded it, polished the um, brass top where you put the beans in. I guess the hopper? I don't know what you would call that. But yeah, I, I did that and then I just hand grind my beans. Maybe you've seen it in a uh, vlog. Oh yeah, I put fencing up so cows don't fall in here anymore. That's a that's a good start. So after I done this, I kind of like started looking into like more manual process of um, making coffee, and one of them is just you know like hand brewing. I guess if that makes sense, you just have like a little ceramic thing, and I guess pour over. It's just how a lot of people used to make coffee, and. Um, I've been, like, doing more of that, um, just experimenting with the various ways to make and drink and prepare coffee. And so far, I'm very excited to say that I can still discover new things about coffee um, that I enjoy. Ah, oh, yes, there's my stone cutter table. I wanted to get some iron ingots. Oh, yeah, look at all these blocks that uh, of furnaces that I got. Oh, what's that? That's a lot of stone. I'm going to need that. The idea was that with all of this stone, I have some terracotta because I had some clay balls. Just decided to get a few of those. Um, that being said, let me just throw this stuff over into my backpack where I would like to see it. Okay, that's good enough. Um, just gonna throw those over just so they're out of my way. Anyway, let's get more stone blocks out because I have more. Very well. Should I like throw some more in? Um, I actually don't know. What what can I throw into the furnace? Um, into like a furnace. I know f blast furnaces are a thing. And I wonder if they're faster. They require a furnace, three smooth stone, and iron ingots. Okay. Let's make a blast furnace. I say... Um, how do I smooth stone? I don't know. How do I smooth stone? Um... Smooth stone. Oh, we have to put stone again into this? Wow, okay. Hey, I'm all for that. <laughs> why not, I guess? Why, why not? Let's just let's do a whole bunch of those because they're probably going to look really neat. Anyways, I'm going to keep the rest in my inventory. All right. Um, I think it's also a good idea to sort things away. Yeah, I I like like the appeal to certain, I guess manual things. Um, it's not. I really like want to stress that it's not about it. Oh, it's old, therefore it's cool, or like vintage, and therefore it's cool. It's more about the the the, the manual aspect of it that really interests me, and that I think is very very enjoyable to a degree, mostly because of its limiting factors. Um, like, let's say, uh, what's a good example? Typewriters. I like typewriters. Um, not because they're like, oh, they're so great to type on. Oh, the feeling mm, is such a superior feeling to a computer. No, BS. Of course it's not. It's it's a typewriter. It slows you down. It's cumbersome. You need all kinds of stuff for it. But. Due to it slowing you down at least a little bit you can't just like with a manual at least electric ones I guess you can do some things um, The the manual one doesn't allow you to wow, look at all the diorite. I have I should do things with that um, I should really do something with that Yeah, can I put diorite in a furnace and what happens if I do no, I can't. It doesn't do anything. Here, here was me hoping it would do something, but it doesn't. Look at all that polished diorite. So much stuff. Yay. So yeah, it slows you down if you think about it. Um, what can I do with granite? Granite. Uh, granite. Polished granite. Polished granite stairs. Eh. Eh. Diorite nether quartz turns into granite. 
granite and terracotta I can turn into kitchen counters, um, cooking tables, granite walls. Yeah, the whole kitchen thing. That's that's rather neat. Um, yeah, stone cutting. Villager trades. Yeah, I got like an expansion for uh, just enough items to show me some uh, more um, relevant stuff. Figure that might be a good idea again, rather than going into a wiki all the time. Anyway, I wanted to get some smooth stone. Oh yes, yeah, so good. How do smooth stone stairs look like? Do they exist? Eh. I don't, I don't, no they don't. You know what, I just realized I don't need that much smoothed stone. Um, could we like, let's, let, give me those back. Give me, give me, let's not waste so much time and energy on those smoothed stones. I'm just gonna take them all out, thank you. Okay, good enough. What should we throw in here? I guess I could throw some more sand in for more glass. Just something for it to do while I'm gone. Mm. 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 I'll deal with it later. Blast furnace. So we have smoothed stone. We have iron ingots and we need a furnace. So let's make a furnace. Mm. Oh, right. Cobblestone. What is still... What are you used to... Uh, I guess because I like half burning, so I guess that stays in there. Give me some cobblestone, girl, so I can make a furnace. Man, this is a lot of, like, back and forth here. Yeah, yeah sure, let's make eight furnaces. Blast furnace, give me one. Okay, so now, now I have blast furnace. What to do with blast furnace? Uh, I don't need a throwaway thing anymore. So... If I understand correctly, I can put stuff in here, and let's say I put... What could I put in here that... Do I have something uncooked just to see how fast I would be, like, in comparison? I'm pretty sure I have something... Okay, here, I have some raw beef. Let's throw that in. That doesn't work. Okay. What can I do in here? I guess the netherite scrap. I'm gonna need some... Wow, I need some really hot stuff. Okay. I guess that's how I get netherite scrap, but... All right, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this thing now, but I made it. Hooray. Hooray. But yeah, typewriters. They they slow you down, so you have to think a little bit more about what you're writing. Um, similar things to, like, writing by hand. Um, I kind of started writing journals, like, for therapy. Um, and then kind of stuck with it and stopped for a while. Um, by the way, let's throw this all into my backpack over here. I'm going to need this to build the gate and whatnot. I'm sure I'll bring the furnace too and the ingots. Who cares? Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm going to have to sort this. Let's get some carrots so we can tame some horses. And I'll replant those as well now that I'm at it. Sue. So, yes, I know I can't do it without, but it doesn't seem to negatively affect the hole, or at least I've never seen it, and I don't know. Fine, I'll use my minecart to harvest the carrots before someone gets upset. So yeah, it, it slows you down, and it's something that actual, like, you know, writers will recommend to just, um, write by hand. Um, it's a different process, and I'm not saying, like, oh, you should write everything by hand, that's... Don't be silly. That's that's stupid. Why why would you want to write everything by hand? That seems very tedious and pointless. Um, but for certain writing uh, endeavors, it can make sense, you know, to like think about what you're writing. Um, some you know sometimes we can type so fast on a, on a keyboard, or I can at least type so fast that I don't even need to think about it anymore. I just write stuff down and as I'm thinking, oh, oh, is that where I left Horsey? Why? I'm so sorry, Horsey. Oh god, all the pigs want. I'm gonna have to free the pigs too soon, don't I? I'm a little bit concerned to, like, free them over here. Well, um... We'll, we'll deal with this now. We'll, we'll deal with the pigs now. I will free them. I don't want to 
have the pigs around anymore. So here's what we'll do. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to guide them just out of here, I guess. Just out of out of everything. So let's uh, chop this open. So we can go in, open this up. I guess you can follow me through here. Oh, it's gonna be so annoying. Okay. Hey, everyone, follow me, please. Piggies, yas, please follow me. You shall be set free. Oh, God, you're all stuck there. You can't squeeze through there properly. You just... Sorry, didn't mean to hurt you. My bad. Grunt, grunt, grunt. Okay. Okay, now you can squeeze through better, right? Maybe I'll maybe I'll keep like a handful. Not you know. Don't let all of them go. All right, all right. Follow me. Okay, there's still lots and lots and lots of piggies. Come on. And I feel bad if there's just one piggy around. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All of you, follow me. Oh man. Yeah. I've also been getting into fountain pens. That was like. One and a half years ago, I want to say. Okay, where are we stuck now? Okay, over here, good. All right, come on. Oh, uh, it's like the worst friggin', it's like a piggy train. Come on, piggies. Okay. I surrender my sanity to you. Okay, everyone, come into the water. Yes, we're going for a swim. What? Yes, we're going for a swimmy swim. Um, give me that. Uh, give me that wall back. No, 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 no! I don't want to push you back. And <sighs> hey, I have carrots. Follow me. Follow me to freedom. Freedom for everyone. Man, if you're not watching what's going on and you're just hearing it because you're just listening, which is totally fine, by the way. This must be very weird to you. No! Go, go! Okay, okay, okay. We only have a few stragglers. I'm gonna just... I'm sorry, but... It's fast. And I get some pork chops. You know what? I kind of like the idea... Oops. I kind of like the idea of, like, two or three of them wandering around. It's very... You guys, you have to deal with this. This is not my problem anymore. You just swim over there. You can swim f just fine. They can swim just fine. They don't... They don't need my help. Oh boy, okay. Okay. Choop, choop. I guess this could be for now the, uh, horse... ...coop. Anyway, where was I? Ah... <sighs> Needless animal murder. Okay. Maybe we can expand this into like another uh, uh, field for growing something. I think that would be neat. All right. Hey, you want some carrot? Wait, can I not give you carrots? I. Or was it wheat? Let's see. I always forget. Oh, I guess it's wheat. It's not carrots. Why did I think it was carrots? Ugh, I'm stupid like that. Anyway, I've been getting into uh, fountain pans, and uh, they are uh, my pride and joy. They're super, super fun, like, to write with. You know, if you only written with ballpoint pens, and then you get, like, one, like, a uh, proper fountain pen with a nib. Oh, that's nice. I grew up with them, actually. Don't worry, you guys get some names. Oh, there's some cows here. Um, I grew up. Uh, using a fountain pen is kind of like a mandatory thing in German schools to write with a fountain pen. Um, it's just a thing. So, yeah, I had a fountain pen while growing up and I, I hated it. Just like using ink and ugh, it was really annoying to work with, kind of. So, um, didn't use them for the longest time. I was just like, oh, I don't like fountain pens. And then I came across a fountain pen that I really liked. Um... And um, I'm like, oh, actually, huh, this is actually kind of neat. So I looked further into it. And that's like a rabbit hole that's really hard to recover from once you go down it and look at fancy pens. And the inks, oh, the inks. I have, I don't know, like 20 to 30 different inks. And they're all so pretty. Because, yeah, 
you can write in any color and with, you know, glitter in it, um, with like an iridescent sheen, you know, all of those good things. Um, there's, there's nothing stopping you. And it's a lot of fun just then to write and you find excuses to write. By the way, uh, let me give you a quick uh, tour, I guess, of the path that I cut out here to Fletcher's Frontier. This is where I was thinking to uh, break this off. Um, it would kind of like lead along this way. Um, then through this mountain here, I decided to actually dig through it rather than over it. I don't know, I just felt like it. There's like a lake underneath of it, so I like put some wood there. Um, where did it go then? Oh yeah, then off to the right. Gonna have to build a little bridge going over this. And then we have this little path. I, it still needs, I think, posts to prop it up. Um, I was also thinking about maybe putting fencing to the left and the right because then it would still be too wide, but it might be tricky to ride on with a horse. So maybe I'll put, uh, make it one wider and um, we'll see. For now, I don't think it needs that. Then it leads over on this open field where there's all these other horses. And as you can see, there's Fletcher's Frontier in the distance. And this is the path that leads back to the village. Yay! There we are. Wonderful. Uh, I need something to put you in, horse. So I will do that now. Um, we're gonna build a little uh, barn? Yeah, let's build a friggin' barn over here. Well, now that we have stone, I would like to get just some stone brick slabs. Um, where are my... Boop, 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 boop. Oh, they're not in my inventory. Therefore, I don't see it. Therefore, things don't happen as I think they would. Stone, give me. Okay, you're still working on it. That's That's adorable. Um, just show me the things that I can do, and then stone bricks, and then stone brick slabs. Yay! Oh, and I wanted to make a cutter, like, to get more stairs, for, like, more bang for the buck, but whatever. That's fine. It's, that's live. But yes, uh, we will make a barn. How about that? This is just a small one, you know, just something where I can maybe park a horse. Uh, I was thinking it could just be like a... Yeah, like a like a manger almost, if that makes uh, sense. Okay, so now we have this path going over here, leading into this, and this should be, I guess, closed off. Guess I could just surround the whole thing with blocks. This is difficult, guys, to get this to look nice. Will this still turn into grass again? What about this stuff over here? Yeah, we still have the, like, the bell. I feel we should put that somewhere else. Um, anyway. Aww. Wow, you are all very annoying. Please leave me alone. Please go away. Alright. Barn. Barn, barn, barn. We're gonna build a barn. And I'm definitely going to do that next episode. I'm not going to forget and just say, like, oh, we're gonna do this thing. No, 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 no. We are building a barn. I'm gonna need a few, a little bit of wood for that, because uh, I think it should be made with wood, so... Excuse me. Leaves. Um, so I'm just gonna need some wood. We, we, we still have plenty of wood over there. Uh, we could just put it over here, like right next to this tree. What do you guys think? I think that's a neat spot. Just a small one, um, little roof over it, uh, a gate, uh, and then we could put some hay in there to make it look nice. Just when you ride in, you can like park your horse, and you're good. I think that's a neat idea. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode of me just talking about coffee and some fountain pens. Um, just trying to come up with things to talk about that are not necessarily just Minecraft. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Weasel. I'm out and out to see you. Whoops. Around. Bye bye. Bye.